Welcome back. We are here on Etro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for November 2nd, 2020. And uh, if you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in, in order to see our newest videos. We have a full in-depth analysis and trading signals available at our Patreon sites. And that video will only be available if you join our Patreon account. So let's look at this and we'll start by looking at the uh, US dollar index. So we have rallied quite significantly today. We have crossed some of the barriers that are resistant. And next we'll find this top here as resistant. After that, we'll go towards the 200 moving average. A break below the, the, um, the 50 moving average opens the door to the $92.5 range. And if you look at the technical indicators, they are all looking quite bullish at this point. Um, there's a lot of room to the upside. Both the MACD, the Stochastic and the CCI are looking all very um, bullish at this point. And that will have an enormous effect on commodities and precious metals. So if you look at gold, uh, oil, sorry. We continued to fall. We fell significantly yesterday and the day before. And at this point, we are probably going to test the uh, $35 range. If that breaks, then we go significantly lower. But at this point, we are at the brink of being oversold. So I do anticipate a pullback at some point. And one of these pullbacks, uh, and a pullback would most likely find resistance at the, um, the 200 moving average and it definitely at the 50 moving average. Um, there's no reason to basically sell uh, buy this market because we are in a downtrend. The world economy is doing terrible. The world is, uh, Europe is locking down and um, it is just a matter of time that we just get the discussions going whether or not the United States is gonna lock down or not and other parts of the world. And that will make this market absolutely uh, collapse as it did um, in February, March, April. So if you look at the technical indicators, they are all looking very bearish at this point. There is not a lot of room to the downside because we are almost oversold. So anticipate a pullback uh, in this market. And those pullbacks are uh, selling opportunities. So look at natural gas, Natural gas is trading sideways now. It's looking very weak. And the reason for that is probably because we're going to have a pullback towards the 50 moving average. We are in uptrend. There's no reason to basically sell this. This is basically wait until we get to the 50 moving average and then buy. Similar to what we saw here, similar to what we saw here, and then technically just buy it. Um, the best probably entry point is at the 50 moving average, but uh, it can also just go a little bit down towards a $3 range and then um, increase from there. Technical indicators for this market are very bearish at this point, or they are possible very bearish at this point. We are near the, uh, nearly over bought. The CCI is looking uh, is uh, flat. The same goes for the Stochastic is flat, and so is the MACD is also flat. So at this point, we may see this market completely collapse to the downside, and that is a buying opportunity. So if we look at copper, I usually categorize copper in the same way as categorize, categorize gold, um, oil, sorry, because when the world economy goes well, uh, is doing well, this market does well, and so does the WTI and uh, crude oil and Brent and so on. But at this point, world economy is not doing well. And there was no reason for this um, this spike here. I thought this um, 3.116 was the absolute high of this market. But for some reason, we basically got all the way to 3.2. At this point, we are testing the 50 moving average. A break below the 50 moving average opens the door to these the previous lows. And if these breaks, then we go significantly lower. 
Technical indicators for copper are looking very bearish at this point. MACD, Stochastic, CCI are all looking bearish, and there's a lot of room to the downside. We're only at 49, so this market can fall substantially. Rally from here, we'll find resistance here, 3.1 and, um, and 3.2. No interest in basically buying this because I expect this market to fall significantly. So if you look at gold, gold tried to rally today, but when the US dollar index appreciates, it's really difficult for gold to rally. We have broken down, traded sideways, broken down, traded sideways, and we have broken down again in trading sideways. At this point, we're just waiting for this market to get as close to the 200 moving average as possible for uh, a possible entry for a long entry because this is a market that is going to go higher the next year or two or three are going to be um, just going to see astronomical spending from um, every government around the world every central bank is just going to flood the market with cheap liquidity and that will have a very bullish effect on uh, on gold so expect this market to go higher. Technical indicators for this market here are looking mixed. Uh, CCI is, if you look at that, that is very bullish. Uh, RSI is flat. Stochastic is um, is is um, is bearish, and uh, MACD is technically flat. But the CCI is looking very um, aggressively, and usually when it does that, you can see basically what happens. We trend significantly to the upside. Break above the 50 moving average, we have a whole lot of resistance here, so I don't expect that to happen anytime soon. So if you look at silver, very similar to gold, break down, trade sideways, break down, trade sideways, and we break down again here. But I do expect this market, similar to gold, to go even further down. There's just too much resistance above. We have the 50 moving average. We have this entire area here working as resistant. And if we break uh, further towards the, 50, uh, the 200 moving average, that is a really good buying opportunity for silver. Technical indicators, uh, they are more promising for silver than they are for gold. CCI is looking very positive. The RSI is looking fairly positive. Um, the stochastic is turning around and the MACD is technically flat at this point. But... Expect a uh, break to the downside. We can also rally up to the 50 moving average, but I don't expect it to break anytime soon. So, Kakoa. We continue our decline in Kakoa, and at this point, we have broken our previous lows here at 2.330. Now we're at 2.287, and the next line uh, or support area is around here, 2.2. 115. If that breaks, we go all the way down to 2.0. This is the lowest um, this market has, is basically on this chart here. And we have been trading between 2.0 and 2.7. So if we rally from 2.0, we may go all the way back to 2.7. We are basically in the mid range. We could turn around here. Um, towards the 50, 200 moving average or the 50 moving average. But the last time we did that, we basically were sold into oblivion basically here. So a wait until we get as far uh, low as possible and a turnaround in the technical indicators because they are very bearish at this point in order to basically buy into this market. Um, so we are almost oversold. So we may see a pullback on Monday or Tuesday. That is basically possible for this market. So platinum. Platinum is technically everywhere at this point. We have been trading between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average for a very long time. We are trading underneath the 200 moving average at this point, but I don't expect this to break down significantly. If we do, we have the first support here at 830, and then we have this entire area here that will act as support. The same goes for this entire area. So there's just a lot of support underneath here. A break above the 50 move, 200 moving average opens the door to the 50 moving average, and a break above that opens the door to, to uh, 944, and then to 980, and then to 1000. This is a market I just stay away from. 
um, in order to sell this, we need to break through this entire area. And that is all the way down here that I will technically enter this market for a target of, of uh, 583. So I am, if I were to enter this market, it would definitely be in a buying position of some sort. Sugar. We can see that we have uh, we have dropped significantly as expected. Technical indicators for sugar are looking dreadful at this point. So this means that we first of all will go lower. We'll it only depends on how low we go. Uh, so we have rallied a little bit today after this massive fall, uh, but um, these technical indicators are showing that we are going lower, and they are not showing that they are turning around anytime soon. So we may get all the way down to the 50 moving average. We are in uptrend. There's no reason to basically sell this. It's basically to buy it as cheap as possible in order to, to, uh, to get the best position as possible. That's technically it. So no reason to sell. Uh, it is basically a buying opportunity as far as you can get this. Um, yeah, as far as it can fall. So if you look at wheat, very similar to wheat, we have fallen significantly from the highs here of 638. At the moment, we are at uh, 598, uh, and we probably have a long way to go. These technical indicators are very bearish, all of all three of them, and the RSI is only at 50, so there's a lot of room to the downside. We are still in uptrend, so no reason to basically sell this. This is basically get it as cheap as possible and then buy. And that could be at the 50 moving average or even lower than that. We have broken the 50 moving average before, turned around. What I would look at look for is something similar to this. Is that CCI turns around and you basically see what happens when the CCI turns around like here, like this. It basically explodes to the upside. So we go down, trade sideways, and when you see the CCI turn around, that is a sign that you could basically enter this market. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. There is a full technical analysis of this um, of commodities and precious metals on Patreon and also a signal service in the same package. So, you're welcome to join there. A lot of people have already done that. And, uh, well, good luck and thank you very much.